The Halo franchise and Team Fortress 2 are some of the most innovative and fun first-person shooters to ever be created, and personally, I love them both to death. I even have a Master Chief tattoo, and I've got well over a thousand hours in Team Fortress 2. Now, I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite recently, and weirdly enough, I've found some interesting overlaps between the game's mechanics, and I thought it'd be interesting to discuss them today in a semi-serious manner. Now, I love both of these games, and this is purely to highlight fun, different mechanics that happen to sort of appear in each one. Not everything's gonna line up perfectly between the two games, but hopefully you can giggle along as I try to make my case in point. At first glance, the two games seem very different. For instance, Halo is not a class-based shooter. There is no difference in systems outside of what weapons you happen to be able to find and pick up on the battlefield in Halo. There's no scout, there's no heavy, there's no pyro. Different classes don't intrinsically have very different gameplay aspects. However, it's surprising how much one Spartan can mimic, and how much of TF2 you can sort of emulate in Halo Infinite. Except for Medic. I tried so fucking hard and I cannot find anything to be Medic. In order to demonstrate how these TF2 mechanics can be emulated, I've enlisted the help of Bobbert the Bot. Please say hi, Bobbert. Hello! We'll be demonstrating on Bobbert by brutally maiming him in a variety of different ways. Oh no! Now the obvious answer for the soldier class is just simply to use the rocket launcher that exists in Halo Infinite. Uh, there is no rocket jumping, sadly, although there is something sort of similar that we'll go over later, but there isn't rocket jumping. However, not only can you mimic the soldier's rocket launcher, you can also mimic some of his side grades. For instance, the Hydra acts as a direct hit, killing in two direct shots with minimal splash damage, and the Plasma Pistol is absolutely 100% the Cal Mangler charge shot. The Soldier's pretty easy to mimic in any video game that has a rocket launcher, so what about the next logical step? The Demo Man. Well, what if I could tell you that not only can you mimic the Demo Man, but we could also mimic the Demo Knight. Weapons like the Cinder Shot and the Charge Shot on the Ravenger allow you to perform any kind of pipe-based grenade attack, as well as using a dash attack into any kind of bladed melee weapon, and lo and behold, you're using the Charge and Charge. Also, uh, side note, if you use the Gravity Hammer and the Grappling Hook, and I fucking love the Grappling Hook, you can jump on people from above and kill them instantly, and fuck it, you're a Trollger. I feel like I shouldn't have to try too hard to convince you of Sniper. Scout moves fast with a shotgun. We move fast with a shotgun. Nice hustle, tons of fun. Hard to stab a guy in the back when he's beating your freaking head in, huh? Hey, look, you shapeshifted into a dead guy. The spy is also a pretty easy explanation because you have cloak, bladed weapons, and revolvers. So, I mean, that all pretty much lines up. And hey, if you do it right, you can even pull off trick stabbing. Because let's be honest, what's more TF2 than a spy missing his ambassador headshot and then face stabbing you? Okay, stay with me on this one. Overshield makes Heavy's health pool, and the machine gun on the back of a warthog is the Tommy Slav, because it's more accurate, and uh, the warthog itself is the gloves of running urgently. Stay with me here. This is the pyro with the jetpack, so you're a flyro, and then you, it kills quick, and people don't usually see you coming, so what are you using? That's right, the back burner. All jokes aside, pyro actually does have some of the best representation in Halo Infinite, because fucking air blast is just in it. Not only can it displace enemies, but it can also reflect projectiles, and you can actually use it as like a detonator type hop, to get a little bit extra jump height that you can cross ravines you weren't able to before. And that's also kind of the closest that you can get uh, to a rocket jump as well. So the little reflector, uh, it actually mimics some movement mechanics fairly well. Engineer and Medic are the two that I have the least for. I have actually nothing for Medic whatsoever, but um, there's vehicles, which are like buildings, and they have Gatling guns, like a sentry gun. So, you know, any vehicle in Halo we can apply to the engineer. That one's really, that's a tough sell, even for me saying it. That's that's tenuous at best. And there's literally nothing for Medic. You, you could argue that in earlier Halos with like health packs, you could argue that the health pack is a Medic, but you still can't give that to your team. Um, and I guess in Attrition, the revive mechanic is similar to medics. Um, <laughs> the revive mechanic is similar to, to medics revive and MVM. And 
that firefight is also similar to MVM, but that that's it for that, that's it for the classes. But game mechanics aren't the only thing that Halo Infinite shares with TF2. No, no, in fact, one of the most beautiful aspects of TF2, the hat simulator, has crossed over into Halo's cosmetics. Not only are there several pieces on every armor set that can be customized, a la TF2's different cosmetic slots for different parts of the body, but we even have unusual effects. You're telling me right now this isn't a Burning Flames team captain just in Halo? It's like five billion times more affordable than a Burning Flames team captain, uh, and also it's not tradable, and also there isn't its own personal economy, but we're making fun comparisons, not realistic comparisons. Here's what it comes down to. Both Halo and TF2 have satisfying movement mechanics, have fun gunplay, and offer customization that helps you make the game feel like it's your own. Unsurprisingly, those things come together to make a fantastic game, and I just wanted to make a video highlighting all of the wonderful crossover that exists between these two games. And I hope you have fun playing whichever one you want.